Arizona Coyotes fans, Paul Bissonette here, and I'm in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where I'll be spending the day with two of your favorite Arizona Coyotes, Derek Stepan and Alex Goligoski. I'm at Perfect World Training, as you can see, and uh, they're gonna put me through the ringer. It's gonna be a very jam-packed day. We're gonna meet Alex Goligoski on the golf course later, and then we're gonna be checking out the Beauty League, which is a very high-end summer skate for all the pros here that live in Minnesota in the summertime. So let's go have some fun. That's the skating muscle right there. These guys do these every morning before their workouts start. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. Like I, my, my muscles are already season up. Yes? You were done like 20 seconds ago. Just putting in that extra work. Just, that's what I do. Steph, when I was uh, coming up through the ranks, I was doing powerlifting, I was squatting a bunch of weight. It's, it's crazy how the workouts have changed where, I mean, these are harder than before and it seems like you're not even doing anything. Yeah, I mean, I switched over for the first time this year to more specific to this stuff and um, it's been one of my best summers. Uh, you know, I feel like my body has um, got not only stronger, but I feel day to day that I'm able to, you know, get through the day and uh, not feel like I'm sore or have aches or I, I tweak things less here than I do uh, anywhere else and um, that's a big credit to Perfect World Training, another plug just for you guys. So I was doing the exercise wrong and he comes over and corrects me. Originally I was it was my brain kind of cheating the exercise. Yeah. Anytime that you try to do an exercise, your brain will try to make it easier on you. And so we're trying to be really detailed to make sure that you don't compensate around it. He mentioned you're constantly having to turn your brain on in order to tell your muscles that way, maybe over the course of, towards the, I guess towards the end of the summer, it just, yeah. it comes natural. For sure. And you know, when the dog days of the year too, that's when the, you're gonna want your body to remember all the training you did in the summer. Coyotes fans, it's good to know he did three sets. He went through it, through it with a breeze. He was talking the whole time, having a good time. That tells me you were in incredible shape. I'm ready to go. And we are in for a treat this season. That's right. And I'll just be in the, the radio booth, just hanging out. <laughs> Once again, big thank you to Zach Rourke at Perfect World Training for the morning session. Uh, the nausea is out of my body, the tough part's out of the way, now it's time for the fun stuff. We're here at Golden Valley Country Club, what a beautiful clubhouse. They even got weddings going on at the other end over there, might have to uh, crash out one later. But for now, it's time to hit the links. And uh, things are going to get very competitive with my boy Derek Stepan and Alex Goligoski. Apparently they're very good golfers. Derek Stepan's a six handicap. I believe Alex Goligoski's a seven. You know I'm going to sandbag him for about 25 strokes. So let's head on over and have a fun day with the boys. Derek Stepan's brother-in-law. So the, the height runs in the family. Yes. Best thing that's ever happened to his family. Right here. <laughs> oh, that's a sound bite if I ever heard one. That's gonna be some extra motivation for my partner to help beat the wheels off these guys, him and Alex Goligoski, if he ever shows up on the golf course today. Yotes fans, uh, change of pace here. Uh, we're still waiting on Alex Goligoski, shocker. Um, we're gonna switch up the teams. I'm gonna be playing with Goose. We've gotten enough content from Derek Stepan. So I'd like to sit in the cart with Goose, pick his brain a little bit, see what he's thinking of the upcoming season, especially with a few of the new additions. Oh, oh, we guys, Alex Goligoski's here. Hey. What's going, going on, man? How you doing? Good, good. Where, where were you? We We've been waiting, we were on the range. range. Oh, yeah. were you there the I, whole time? No, I must've just missed you. I was just out there for like 10 minutes. I think I just missed you. Oh, okay, yeah, because we were there like 45 minutes ago when we were supposed to be here, so I just figured my partner would show up early in order to get the work in, because we have a big match today. We do, Bruce. we do, we do. Oh, we're partners, I didn't know that. Well, that... Yeah, no, it's good. Maybe a little trivia about the 
Is it 10,000 lakes in Minnesota? Yeah, 11 actually. 11? <laughs> Did they add another 1,000 lakes no, since just, I last talked to you? We, already, we went through this. It was land of 10,000 lakes. That's on the license plate, but there's actually over 11,000. Oh, maybe they need to update their license plates. <laughs> You're going to have to name as many lakes as possible in the state of Minnesota. Okay. Starting now. Mud, Deer, Round, uh, Pakegama, Minnetonka, um, Bass, uh, oh my god, um, Wabana, uh, Oh no. Al wow. That was bad. We but, no, I, no, there, there's like a hundred deer lakes. There's a bunch of mud lakes. I, I mentioned lakes. before you got over, there could be a mental block in there. You hit the mental block. Unfortunately for you fans who voted over the number 15 lakes named, <laughs> 15 and 20 seconds. I yeah, mean, you no, said there's 11,000. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. That's on you. Don't start to point the finger here. Okay. Accountability once in a while. <laughs> uh, we're going to play more games, though. So don't worry. You're going to be able to redeem yourself. I'm very confident in my own abilities today, especially after that workout. I got my glutes firing. Am I just up here? Oh, that's on the highway. That's in somebody's cup holder on the highway right now. <laughs> How, uh, have you reached out to Kessel yet? Since you've yeah. The classic Phil Kessel conversation. I reach out to, I just send him like a uh, coyote's like ho howling, like t text to him. <laughs> he goes, ha ha, yeah man, I'm pumped. And then I was like, yeah, it's gonna be great. You know, great guys, you're gonna love it. Love it here. You know, good team, everything, everything's awesome. And then he just ghosted me. No response, man. <laughs> it's like so classic Phil Kessel. Yeah, I feel like he's just uh, probably, just like everything, maybe a bit of a lazy texter. Oh yeah, 100%. Like I, Among other things. Yeah, yeah I mean. Until he gets it's a just, puck on his stick and then it's in the back of the Yeah, head. then uh, nothing lazy about that. It's like, hey, I don't care if you ghost me on text, like, <laughs> like uh, Kepka did to Tiger Woods before the Open. Yeah, how week. great was that? It was unbelievable. Uh, as long as you put 30 or 40 in the back of the net and, yeah. and you and you dump a bunch in on the power play. Yes. Let's get that power play going. Oh, man. Get you a couple of apples. That's it. Just get that going. It'll be good. All right. Let's move on. Coyotes fans, there you have it. We're gonna head out to the, the Beauty League and we're gonna watch you guys play. Are you guys heading off against each other tonight? No, but we played week one and Vic Ray just came out on top. <laughs> I, has anyone made the reference to the, like, the fact that you- Yeah, that's why I'm on the team is they actually sponsor me sponsor. throughout the year and I, I'm able to get a fresh fresh shave. Unbelievable. And for free. <laughs> <laughs> that's a wrap. We'll see you guys at hockey tonight. Coyotes fans, it's been a long day, but I finally made my way to Braemar Arena where I'm coming to check out the Beauty League. I went training with Derek Stepan this morning, then we met Alex Goligoski on the golf course, but the main reason I came was to check these guys out on the ice in this very high level league during the summertime. So why don't we head inside and check out what they got going and hopefully the boys can pull out a victory. That's a nice late one. Good change. Well, Alex, not the results you wanted out there, but uh, player of the game, you had your guy. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to look at it that way, but uh, player of the game, so. <laughs> get back to the drawing board. In all seriousness, uh, pretty good pace out there. Four on four gets you in shape for the season, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's tough. Roll 4D, so it's uh, a lot of ice time, but it's good. It's uh, it's fun coming out here, and yeah, a lot of, a lot of ice time, good time getting shape. It well, must be nice in the summertime though to get a bunch of fans out and kind of. I guess there's more more up for grabs, and you don't want to you know embarrass yourself, so you know guys are playing a little bit harder. Yeah, exactly. I mean you. You know, you skate and you have your summer skates where it's uh, a little more shinny hockey and then, I mean, it's still 
it's not crazy intense out there, but uh, it gets a little heated at times and get to work on things, so it's uh, beneficial. That's pretty much all I got for you. I know it's a very lighthearted interview, but uh, I want to uh, thank you personally for your time today. H have a good rest of the summer, and we're looking forward to the start of the season. All right, it was a blast. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. Well, folks, that wraps things up here in Minnesota. It's been a pleasure hanging out with Derek Stepan and Alex Goligoski. I want to thank them for their time. I want to thank them for bringing me training, bringing me to the golf course. I'm not going to thank them for taking my money on the golf course, though. And other than that, Coyotes fans, a lot to look forward to this season. Expectations are very high. I'm sure you're all excited to see Phil Kessel in a Coyotes jersey, especially the Kachina, which you can pick up at the team store. Cha-ching! And uh, that pretty much wraps things up. So uh, I'm just going to... Hitchhike on home here.